What's going on, everybody? <sighs> We're back for another gyno recovery update video. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Oh. Thanks for joining me. The date is uh, Wednesday, the 31st of January. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning, and um, yeah, why not give you guys another update? It's, uh, it's, 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 well, to be honest, I don't really have much to say. I may as well just show you guys. So, we're getting there. We are fucking slowly getting there. If you guys have followed my journey so far, you'll know that the left side, I squeezed uh, that most of the hematoma out uh, early on, probably, you know, probably about four or five weeks ago. That basically, you know, served the same function as someone sticking a needle in there and uh, aspirating the blood that was in there so I took it you know I did try and get aspirated in the first couple of weeks it didn't work um, the blood clots weren't moving as fast as I what I wanted so I decided to take things into my own hands which I do not recommend and I decided to start squeezing it because you know when you've got a hematoma behind you know your your incision and your stitches the stitches, the, 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 the cut is not going to completely heal, it's not, because it's got this pressure underneath it, right? So as soon as I took the stitches out after about three weeks, which was far later than what I should have, um, I started getting, you know, little bits of blood come out of, of the sutures. And, um, and so, you know, that continued, continued, I just get little bit, little spots, 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 and then one day I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to try and squeeze it and see what happens. So I squeezed it, and a shitload of blood came out, right? So that, you know, probably after about four weeks, this side, you know, really, really decreased in size. Uh, this side, I was too scared to squeeze it like I did that side. So up until last night, this side was, was you know, still relatively protruding and last night I actually lost patience and I decided to do the same thing that I did to the left to the right and I squeezed the remaining blood out of it now I don't recommend that to anyone I don't recommend anyone fucking try that but you know the reality is is looking down at this every day for the last two months straight you know frustration really does start to kick in and so I squeezed it and I most probably got out the last of what I can get out myself without just letting it heal. So, with that said, I'll show you guys with my uh, arm up in the air. This is really the way to see, you know, how it's how it's tracking. So that is my left side, and you know, without the colouring there, I am completely happy. That is, that's a, you know, that's a fucking hundred percent result in my opinion. That is what my pec was always meant to be like, guys. And before, I had a fucking gyno bloody bitch tit that was sticking out to about here and then going in, okay? It was coming out to about here and then going in. Now, as you can see, as I always knew would happen, finally I'm seeing the shape of my chest. My nipple is underneath, it's aesthetic. My top will now sit off the smooth line of my pec rather than this fucking protruding nipple. And that's how it's meant to be. So let's have a look at the other side. If I put my arm up in the air, how are we going? There we go. As you can see, it is, you know, it is decreasing. Uh, yesterday, before I squeezed the blood out, it was probably, I don't know, twice the size of what you can see. But um, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to let it heal. <sighs> let it heal just on its own now. I'm not going to touch it. And, you know, if we look at the line, if we look at the... I mean that, to be honest guys, that's similar to what I sort of used to have. So if we look at it on the side, once again, I'm starting to get that real, 
nice shape of the chest. Um, this is still, you know, compromised due to the hematoma there. Mm. But, you know, as you can sort of imagine, this is just going to come in a little bit more uh, and it's going to, you know, push the nipple down, which is then going to result in my t-shirt, you know, hanging off probably around about here and I can fucking walk around with my chest out and not have to worry about these little fucking nipples showing. So, you know what, guys? I'm stoked. I'm fucking happy. I've gone through two months of recovery. I've gone through shit. If you guys have watched my series, man, you saw me, you saw the state I was in the first couple of weeks. Um, but hey, you know, I want to say thank you guys for the support. I want to say thank you for getting me through this shit, man. You know, you guys have helped me. If I didn't have you guys to, to sort of, um, you know, lean on <laughs> at the times that I needed it, things would have been a lot tougher. So I want to say thanks. Uh, I want to say, you know, I hope I've, I've really helped some people in making their decision. I've probably put some people off, <laughs> you know, getting the gyno surgery, but I don't want to do that. I feel like the one mistake I made, guys, the one mistake I made was getting my drains taken out too early. I felt like they had stopped bleeding, but really they hadn't. All you need is just a small, small, constant drip of blood accumulating, and, you know, a, a, in a, a day, it's going to be a big hematoma. You know, it doesn't take long at all, and I found that after I'd taken my drains out after 48 hours, all it took was two days and I had these massive fucking accumulations of blood. And it's taken over two months for them to finally start going. You know, it's, uh, we're getting there. That's all I can say, we're getting there. You know, I've, uh, you know, I'm back into training now. It's, um, it's been three weeks of pretty constant training. My weight has gone from 93 or 92 and a half, my lowest, after not training for six weeks. And I'm, you know, back up to 95, 96. So that's just through, you know, filling out again, um, getting some, some fullness back into my muscles, you know, giving myself a good few leg workouts. My legs are, you know, looking uh, slightly bigger. Everything's looking slightly bigger, you know. I'm not looking any leaner. Everything's just filling out a little bit and that's that's what I want so from here I'm planning on uh, you know continuing bulking continuing training up to 100 kg seeing what sort of condition I'm in um, and then continuing on from there I, I want to say you know the only reason why I stopped bulking last year at 105 kilo was because I didn't like the look of my gyno if if you know if I had have had a smooth I like being bigger, I like being fuller, I like filling out a t-shirt, but what I didn't like was my gyno showing. So, who knows where I'm going to stop. I feel like I'm going to keep bulking, 100 kg, 105. I wanted to get to 110 last time. Will I get there this time? Who knows. I want to compete at the end of the year, so, you know, the way I see it happening is I will bulk up until a certain point where I've got probably 16 weeks until the show which is in October, and then I'll start cutting. And you guys will see the entire journey. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure what sort of series I'm gonna do, but it will be something. And so stay tuned. You know, once again, if, you, if you're new to the channel, it's not, not your every, everyday YouTube channel. There's uh, all sorts of stuff that I put out. So you never know what you're gonna get, but what you will get is, uh, you know, honesty, truth, transparency, and that's what I always wanna bring through this channel. I think that, I think YouTube is an amazing platform because of that, because of the fact that you can say whatever I want. I can say whatever I want, you know, as long as it's true. And that's, that's my motto. So yeah, that's it guys. It's uh, day, what did I say it was? Today marks, yeah, nine weeks since having the surgery. So it's day 63. And I'll see you guys back here at week number 10. Okay? Peace.